Praise the Lord. Good to see everybody tonight. It's exciting to be in the house of the Lord. So glad to have Patty here from out in Texas. Amen. It's good to see everybody. It's certainly want to welcome our internet viewing audience. We're so glad to have you here tonight. We come to worship the Lord. Amen. Amen. He's more than enough. Anything we need, he's more than enough. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come to you tonight. We just commit the service to you. We ask you to have your way in here tonight, Lord. We ask you, Lord, to touch people. Pray that you release healings and miracles and deliverances, Lord, in this place. God, that you would bless the internet audience, that they would receive, they would feel the power of God and the anointing of the Holy Spirit, Lord. And we just thank you for them, and we'll give you praise for everything. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Well, praise the Lord. Good to see everybody tonight. We at the filling station, Ruth. We're going to fill up tonight. Amen. With spiritual gas. Amen. I need to, I need to get a full tank. Amen. It's good to see everybody tonight. What's a beautiful day that the Lord has made. I will be glad and rejoice. Amen. Amen. We're going to... Uh, Paul is not here tonight. Ronnie and I heard y'all had about 48 people saved in the prison in Columbia, South Carolina. How much? 48? Uh, oh, there were 50 in the institution in the prison service in Columbia, South Carolina. There were 50 in there and 48 of them got saved. Right, Ronnie? They was all new new inmates. Praise the Lord. Pray the revival start on that yard. Amen, Charles. Keith, I ain't made that call yet, but I'm going to. Praise the Lord. Let's just praise him a little bit. Amen. Got a Texas girl come in on us in here tonight. That's below Piedmont down there, right? I feel, I feel the rain. I feel the rain. I feel the rain. There's a falling down, down on me. I feel the rain. I feel the rain. I feel the rain. I feel the rain. There's a falling down, down on me. It's a warm rain and that rain together. It's a falling down on me It's a former 
Oh, I feel the power. I feel that rain falling. How many want the Holy Ghost power to fall on you tonight? Hallelujah. Oh, I feel it up here already. Hallelujah. Praise God. I, I want the Lord to just take control tonight and just move in. We want to surrender to him. Uh, he's our king. He's our master. We want to just uh, uh, submit ourselves to him and let him have his way tonight. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. I got to do that again. I, I tell you, I feel the pirate is falling. Amen. Amen. And by the way, my wife uh, took her sister down to be operated on a brain uh, aneurysm and everything was successful. And they already back home, just got home uh, a little while ago. So give God the praise and glory. Hallelujah. And uh, praise the Lord. Amen. And, and Ronnie, how's the little baby doing? They, they got him stabilized and praise God. That we pray God's going to continue. To, to, to heal that little fella. And Ricky, uh, Betty Landruff has gone to the emergency room. So we Betty Landruff has gone to the emergency room. Let's pray for her right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, touch our sister, Lord. We love her. We pray you give her strength and encouragement. God, in Jesus' name, uh, Lord, just uh, let them touch her uh, uh, at the hospital. But Lord, most of all, you touch her and heal her and bring her back home tonight, God, to, in the name of Jesus, God. Touch her. I feel the rain, feel the rain, feel the rain, falling down on me. Feel the rain, feel the rain, feel the rain, it's a falling down on me. It's a form of rain, a lot of rain together. I'm not singing about the weather. Falling down on me, I feel the rain. I feel the rain. I feel the rain. It's a falling down on me. It's a form of rain, a lot of rain together. I'm not singing about the weather. Start speaking in tongues there. Amen. To Canaan land, how come my way where the soul of man never dies? My darkest night will turn to day where the soul of man never dies. No sad. Where the 
Jesus in your heart. We just pilgrims passing through, you know what I mean? Amen. Praise God. This world is not my Thanks on every hand are shining 
Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. This is a special request. My sister, she's in heaven. Mama Porter loves this song. Be with you. 
There is a city that you have never seen. You have only read about it. It is a real place. It is the dwelling place of your creator. There is a country that you have never seen. It's a place called heaven. You have never seen that place, but you have read about it and you have heard about it. But it is a place that is prepared for my people. It is a place of faith. It is a place where there is no sickness and there is no disease. It is a place where worship is heard 24 hours a day, even though there is no time there. For it is a place of eternity. It is a place that I have prepared for my people. For there are many places, many houses, many mansions in this place. And there is one for you. And there is one for everybody that will be going. It is prepared for my people. It is a city like you have never seen and you have never experienced. It is a city of glory. It is a city of purity. It is a city of holiness. Hallelujah. It is a city where there is great joy and there's no sorrow there. It is a city that I have called my people to. It is a country that you will go to. For those of faith, I have prepared a place, saith the Lord, and I am waiting on my people to come home. For I have great blessings that you've never experienced. It is an amazing place and is the home of my children, saith the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Ikata <laughs> Akate, O Shotamaya, eat a Mahala of a shoe, Ikata, Atai, Imatai, eat a Shotai. You have received a down payment on this glory. It is the person of the Holy Spirit that has come inside of you because of your yielding to the cross, because of your faith. Calling upon me, you have been sealed by my spirit. Actually, the coming of the Holy Spirit is the seal. It is a down payment of heaven. It is a down payment of the glory to come. The Holy Spirit himself is a touch of heaven. As you seek my face and as you study my word, you receive an experience that is a part of heaven. For my kingdom has come in your life and the glory of heaven has come for the comforter is inside of you. He leads you, he teaches you. He guides you, he empowers you. 
So what a glory it is to know that you are a child of God for there is a witness inside of you. There is an a yea and an amen. And there is a witness that you belong to me, saith the Lord God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus.
someone has a word, somebody speak what God is telling you. with you. The Lord's been speaking to me and he's telling me that somebody's been in turmoil for the last couple of weeks and the Lord's telling them that he's going to give them peace. That whatever's been troubling them that it's time for them to give it to God. And that God's giving them peace about it. He said it's time for them to turn it over to God and tri quit trying to fix it themselves. They've been trying to do something about it themselves and they can't do anything about it themselves. That they just need to put it in God's hands, and God will take care of it. That it's not their battle, it's God's battle. Mm -hmm. And if they'll just give it to God, God will take care of it. Mm -hmm. And because God's already given them that faith, because God's given everybody a measure of faith. And if they'll take that faith and put it in that situation, God will take care of it. says stand still amen give me some ushers to I don't know about you, but I'm glad. Amen. I 
I got an I got an another body. Same body, just a changed, glorified body. One day I'll experience that. Either in the rapture or by the way of the grave, one or the other. Praise the Lord. Isaiah, thank y'all. That was powerful. Isaiah 65. Isaiah 65. Isaiah's a small Bible within the Old Testament, 66 books. Isaiah has 66 books. The Bible has 66 books. Isaiah 65, that he who blesseth himself in the earth shall bless himself in the God of truth. (laughs) Everybody say the God of truth. He shall bless himself in the God of truth. And he that sweareth in the earth shall swear by the God of truth because the former troubles are forgotten and because they're hid from mine eyes. Now, that's going to be an experience that we have in the kingdom. Israel has in the kingdom. But that is an experience that we're partaking of right now. God is truth. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. I am blessed in Jesus because I know where I'm going. (laughs) I'm on my way to be with the Lord, but I'm going to do his work before I come. But I, I swear by the Bible tonight that I'm a Christian. Come on now. I'm blessed. I'm a kingdom child. I'm a disciple of Jesus. I'm all of those things in him. I want to read that again. That he he whom blesses himself in the earth. How did we bless ourselves when we hearkened to the voice of the Holy Spirit and came to Jesus? Somebody will say, amen. In the God of truth, and he that sweareth in the earth shall swear by the God of truth. I swear that I'm a Christian. I'm forgiven tonight. For behold, I create a new heavens and a new earth, and the former shall not be remembered nor come into mind. How many of you know this earth's going to be renovated by fire one day? There's going to be a new heaven, new earth, after the thousand year reign. And we're going to live in eternity. That's hard for us to imagine. But when we either go in the rapture or we either go by the way of the grave, we have entered in to eternal life forever and ever and ever. Amen. I want you to look at Jeremiah 4, 3, and then we're going to the New Testament. And I no doubt in my mind that the Lord gave me this message tonight because he's confirmed it so many times. I asked somebody the other day, you know, they was talking about some problems they was having. I said, well, one of these days, you know, we're going to be in glory. We're not even going to remember this stuff. I'm going to heaven. And I knew this man was a Christian. I knew he was a good man. And he said, I hope. Well, I asked him where he went to church, and I realized why he said that. But I want to tell you tonight, I have and a witness. I have a witness inside of me that I'm saved, that I'm born again. I don't have to wonder. I don't have to question it. Hallelujah. I'm a child of God, and I'm on my way to heaven. I don't have to go ask the pastor or priest 
or the head of any denomination. Do you think I'm going to heaven? No, by the God of truth. <laughs> he said, I... <laughs> He said, my son qualified you. If you'll receive it, truth. You can have that assurance, that witness in you that you're a child of God and that you belong to God and that heaven belongs to you. One day the kingdom will be set up on this earth for a thousand years and the earth belongs to us. Because we'll rule and reign with Jesus. How many believe that? Look at Jeremiah 4, verse 2. And it was always God's plan for the Jews to be a witness on this earth of Jehovah God and his son, the Messiah, who is Jesus. A witness to the world. And then the nation of Israel, of course, rejected his first coming. They won't reject his second coming. That generation that is alive then. But aren't you glad that God had a plan for the Gentiles to come into the kingdom? Woo! He even said it in Jeremiah 4, verse 2. And they shall swear the Lord liveth in truth. <laughs> I swear the Lord liveth in truth. In judgment and in righteousness. And the nations shall bless themselves what? In him. It's in him. We ought to be able to shout tonight. It's in him. It's in him that we live and move and have our being, hallelujah. It's in him, his name is Jesus. So all the nations of the world, praise God, we're one blood. We're all blessed in him. You can ask some people, they say, well, I'm not blessed. Yes, you are. You're blessed in Jesus. You're blessed to know him. <laughs> You're blessed that he called you and came looking for you. Somebody, you know, I used to think, I found Jesus. No, I didn't find him. I wasn't looking for him. He came and knocked on my door and gave me an invitation to be saved. Hallelujah. And I'm saved to the uttermost tonight. I'm not halfway saved. I'm not a third of the way saved. <laughs> Woo! I'm saved from the gutter to the uttermost. Hallelujah. I didn't earn it. I didn't deserve it. But he gave it to me. It's like Joanne said, we all got a measure of faith. And I used that measure to get blessed. <laughs> I said, Jesus, come into my heart. Hallelujah. And thou shalt swear the Lord liveth in truth. In judgment or justice, aren't you glad he's just God? And in righteousness, put your hand on your heart, say, I'm the righteousness of Christ. Oh, hallelujah. My righteousness was as filthy rags. I was lost and undone without God or his son. But there's amazing grace, hallelujah, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Woo! <laughs> I was blind, but now I see. Somebody ought to shout, hallelujah. I'm blessed on this earth. I'm blessed in him. I'm blessed going in and I'm blessed coming out. I'm blessed in the city. I'm blessed in the country. It don't matter where I go. Jesus is in me, and I am blessed. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. That's shouting time, ain't it? And thou shalt swear the Lord liveth. My God lives. That's why when he was in the graveyard looking for him, and the angel said, why do you look for the living among the dead? <laughs> he is risen. 
Because he rose, I'll rise too, praise God, or go up. Look at this. The Lord liveth in truth and judgment and righteousness, and the nations shall bless themselves in him. You think you've got trouble? It ain't going to last long. It's, a bl it's, a, it's like a blinking of an eye. Like Ricky said a while ago, we pilgrims passing through this place. This is not my home. But while I'm here, I'm going to give the devil a hard time. Come on now. I'm going to let Jesus show up inside of me. And I'm going to let Jesus show up on the outside of me. Come on now. The devil going to know I've been here. Because I'm blessed in Jesus. <laughs> the nation shall bless themselves in him. And in him shall they glory. That's why I can't understand somebody that can't worship God. They say, I don't got nothing to worship God about. Well, you do too. If you're saved and going to glory, you got something to bless him for if you're saved on this earth. How many believe we can have a touch of heaven on this earth? Yes, we can. There's a kingdom outside of the other kingdom. I was in the other kingdom. I didn't like it over there. I quit. I give the devil my resignation. And I said, I'm changing gods. Woo! I'm going to the true and the living God. Hallelujah. I change sides. I ain't going back. I got too much over here. It's too good on this side for me to even think about going back over there. Because I'm blessed in him. Look at say, these troubles down here ain't nothing. Hallelujah. The devil's tried to kill me so many times, it's pitiful. But he's not a good shot. I was watching TBN, uh, 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 700 Club today, and they had this guy on there. He looked like he was from India. He was Asian anyway. And he was ministering. Uh, in his country there and, and he went into this village this Buddhist village and he got about 50 people saved and they said uh, they told him said don't come back in here we'll stone you so he went home the next day got on his little motorcycle and went back to that village and they stoned him but he said it didn't hurt him and he went in the building and preached and somebody got saved got healed got delivered and he said I come out and I was on my motorcycle and I was going down the road to go home and said, so these four men came out on me and said, I could have turned the motorcycle around. I don't know why I didn't. But he said, two of them, one is on one side, one's on the other side. And said, they come down with a machete, going to cut my head off. And said, I just ducked and said, Jesus. And said, they missed or something. And said, I looked, I was still alive. Said, the other two took an, a machete and they was going to cut my head off. And they cut off at him. And he said, I looked in my mirror and I was still alive. And I looked in my mirror and said, they're standing there like an arch with a, their knives up like that. And he said, I went on home. He said, about 5 o'clock the next morning, a woman from that village that had been a Buddhist that got saved came knocking on my door. Said, I got up and I went to the door and said, are you real? Or are you, uh, you know, what? what's going on here? She said, Pastor. Said, the whole village is awake. Said, they, they, they just tore up. Said, those four men came into town and they said, we went out there to kill you, Pastor. And said, they was a big man. When we tried to cut his head off, there was a big man that took and pushed us back, held the knife away from him, and said, the other two, the, the man went to the same thing. and said, as soon as the pastor pulled away, we intended to kill that man, but he disappeared. <laughs> so they, they were saying, well, mercy, we want mercy, we want mercy. She led them to the Lord. And they, they, they told the rest of the people in that village, they said, don't you harm that man. We were hired to kill him. 
and said, God, send somebody to stop us. And don't anybody in this town ever try to stone him again. Don't anybody in this town try to kill this man again. If you do, I'll kill you. we'll kill you. <laughs> I tell you, God, if God be for you, who can be against you? The devil's tried to kill me many times, but he missed. And he will miss till God's through with me. And then when God's through with me, he ain't going to let the devil kill me. I'm just going to leave and take off. Either the rapture or one way or the other. I was listening to a preacher, I forget it, uh, uh, Keith Moore. And he was talking about one of his relatives. And he said he had a, I think it was one of his grandmas or aunts. And she lived for God. She just prayed all the time, just prayed for people. And one morning she told her family, said, uh, today I'm going home. She was healthy as she could be. Today I'm going home. She went out and gathered the eggs and started in the house and started up the front porch and just poof, left her body and went up. Can you imagine what she saw? People say, well, you got to get sick to die. No, I, I don't, don't want to go that way. <laughs> Do you? Say, no, I just like to leave. Just like to go to bed and just leave. That's the way I want to go. Woo! Look at this. Thou shalt swear the Lord liveth in truth and judgment and righteousness, and the nation shall bless themselves in him, and he shall, and, and in him shall they glory. For thus saith the Lord to the men of Judah and to Jerusalem, Break up the fallow ground and sow not among thorns. I'm sowing good seeds on fallow ground. What is fallow ground? It's ground that's been broke before and it's got hard. It's amazing how God can touch us with revival when we get a little dry sometimes and the ground gets a little hard and we decide to plow it again and plant some more seeds. All that joy comes back. Don't nobody know what I'm talking about. Woo, all that joy comes back. Oh, the ground is tilled and we continue to sow the seed of truth. Look at John 8, 31, 32, if you will. This is the scriptures that the Lord gave me. I opened my Bible this morning. I just opened it and it fell open to Isaiah 65. So I just added that little bit to John 8, 31 and 32. Amen. You know, so many people come to the Lord and they never continue in discipleship. They never continue in becoming a disciple of Christ. How many even know that a disciple is a disciplined follower of Jesus? He has partaken of all the tools and all the armor that God has made available to us. Hallelujah. I've walked in bondage and I've walked in liberty. I prefer liberty. I don't like bondage. I don't like the devil having any part of me. I don't like any door open that he can walk in anytime he wants to. I want every door that he ever had in my life shut. Glory to God. And I want the glory of God to fill me. He'll do it. We can be blessed in him. Hallelujah. Blessed in him. Look at somebody say, God always takes care of me. I'm blessed in him. I don't want the devil in my mind painting no picture. Any otherwise, I only tell him it's trespassing. You're trespassing. Get out of here. Hallelujah. How many know God's the truth? Jesus is the truth and the devil's a liar. John 8, 31 and 32. You might be going through a valley. You might be going through a hard time right now. Paul and Ronnie went through a hard time this week with that baby sick. And I, I know that's a hard time, but I'm telling you, there's a peace inside the storm. How many know what I'm talking about? There's a peace inside the storm that passes all understanding. And we might go through some hard places, but we can raise our hand and we say we're blessed. You say, you're blessed? Yes, we're blessed in him. 
Come on now. John 8, 31, 32. Then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him. These were believers. Jesus said that to the believers. He said, if you, if you continue in my word, then are you my disciples indeed. <laughs> I like that word indeed, don't you? You are my disciples indeed. If you what? If you continue in my word. How many know that we got the armor of God? We put it on. See, he gives us armor, but he don't put it on for us. Right? He said, here in the armor, the armor is truth. How many know the devil cannot stand truth? He can't stand it. I like to upset him. Sometimes he has to go on volume. I hope he overdoses one day. I would like to go to his funeral. And one day I will. But he's not going to die. He's going to be cast into the lake of fire forever and ever and ever. And we're going to look at it and say, is this him that bothered us? Is this him? Because God is so much bigger than the devil. He created the devil. So the devil is a created being. And that's why we can say, greater is he that is in us than he that's in the world. Blessed be the Lord God. Hallelujah. You can look at someone and say, I must not look like, I might, I might not look like much today, but I sure am precious in God's sight. Because in him I'm blessed. <laughs> that's what confuses the world when they try to, try to put a curse on us and they can't put a curse on them. It just slides on us. It just slides off us and goes back on them. Look at somebody say, I'm Teflon. <laughs> it just slides off. It looked like one day the devil would learn, don't it? But he's been kicked in the head. The seed bruised his head. He bruised the heel of my Lord, but the Lord kicked him in the head. Come out with the keys of death and hell and the grave. Hallelujah. He has made us more than conquerors in him. Hallelujah. It's the reason the devil is so stupid. If you continue in my word, then you're my disciples, and you shall know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. That's why people are still bound up after they get saved sometimes. They hadn't, they hadn't got in the word yet. They're going to. They hadn't gotten the word yet. But they're going to get in the word and continue in the word. Come on now. And they're going to know the truth. And the truth is going to make them free. Now, Jesus is the truth, but Jesus is the word. In John 17, 17, Jesus says, Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. All the word of God. I believe lies for the years because I didn't know the truth. I had never met the truth and continued in his word, the word of truth. How many know the Holy Ghost is the spirit of truth? Woo! Glory to God. When the devil comes and lies, we say that's a lie. That's a lie, devil. Because I know the truth. I know him as a person, and I know him as the word that he printed, the logos. And the logos turned into rhema in my life. Woo! The written word came alive in me. Somebody ought to shout, hallelujah. Woo! When a person becomes a disciple, the proof of it is the understanding of the word of God because it said, you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. If you look that word up in the Greek, the word know means understand. And if you went to Matthew 13, 23, but he that receives seed into the good ground is he that understands it and bringeth forth fruit, some a hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty. The fruit comes 
when you begin to understand the Word of God, when you continue in it, when the Word you put inside of you gets inside of you and you get inside of that Word, hallelujah, and you are a disciple, you are a threat to the devil, hallelujah. And disciples create disciples. Charles, I'm glad after I prayed that prayer, I followed through. Because now I'm not only helped, I can help others. Raise your hand and say, that's me. Hallelujah. Woo! They know the truth. They understand the truth and it makes them free. Makes them free from the law, from the bondage of sin. Makes them free from the old life. They've put something inside their house. It was swept and garnished, and they put the truth in there. And the devil comes back, and he peeks in because the demon don't want to get too close because he's allowed to get burnt. And he looks in, and he said, oh, them lies is gone. I see the truth in there. Hallelujah. I see the truth in there. I can't get back in there. There ain't no place for me. So I got to go on down the road. How many know the devil come look back in? The demons do. <laughs> oh, glory. I'm glad I don't. I'm, I'm glad. Listen, I, I'm glad I don't have that old life anymore. I am so glad I'm enjoying this one. I'm blessed in him. Come on. Look at John 14, 16, if you will. And, and, I, and, and this, is a, this is a work of the, of, the, of the word of truth. The word is truth. It's a work of the Holy Spirit. That's why the devil has got so many people religious and they want to limit you on the Holy Ghost. You can get all the word of God you want. You can get all the word of God you want. You get in some denomination, you can get all the word of God you want. They'll teach you the word inside and out. But they don't want you to get full on the truth, on, on the spirit of truth. They don't want you to get full on him. Because if you get full on him, you might speak in tongues. If you get full on the spirit of, uh, the, the, the spirit of truth, you might cast out devils. But I'm glad I got all the truth. I got the word of truth and I got the spirit of truth and the word of truth and the spirit of truth, hallelujah, is giving me understanding of the word and empowering me in the word. Hallelujah. So I don't want no limitations on the spirit of truth. You say, what are you? I'm Pentecostal. I'm a Pentecostal Christian. I believe the same thing the Methodists believe. I believe the, a lot of the same thing the Baptists believe. I believe a lot of the same things other groups believe. But I just add to it what the truth, what the word of truth says you can have. Amen. And the spirit of truth said, yeah and amen, you can have it. And I said, Lord, fill me up with the word. Fill me up with the spirit. I want everything because I want all the armor of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, they say, well, this group over here said, well, if you get it, I, I, I won't like you. I'll talk about you. I said, go ahead. Get in line. Because I've been dead and now i got some spirit on me. Hallelujah. <laughs> Woo! I'm getting out of order, ain't it? I like to get out of religious order. I like to get out of religious order. I better preach. <laughs> I may get drunk before I leave here. I ain't promising you nothing. If I get drunk, I'll stagger to the car. I drive better drunk than I do when I'm sober. Ricky left the Benny Hinn meeting one night. We were down there on the front row. Benny come by and said, pow. Ricky went down and got up looking goofy. The law stopped him going home. Said, man, you're running all over the road. What's wrong with you? Where you been? He said, I've been to the Benny Hinn meeting. The, law, the, the sheriff said, oh, it's okay. Go on home. 
Russell's daddy left a prayer meeting over there on Sealy Lane. Spirit of God falling in that place. He was drunk. He was going home to Brandon down there. And the law stopped him because he's weaving all over the road. He said, what's wrong with you? You drunk? He said, no, I used to be. <laughs> but I'm drinking a different wine now. Woo! Glory to God. <laughs> they realized he wasn't drunk. He was drunk on the Holy Spirit. That is legal. You're more harmless you're more harmless to people when you're drunk on the spirit, but you're terror to the devil. Amen. <laughs> Glory to God. Ain't you glad you say, look at somebody say, I'm blessed. I'm blessed in Jesus. <laughs> you can get so blessed in Jesus that somebody can come in and say, oh, I want to tell you, I hate to tell you this, a terrorist just blowed your car up. You go, praise God, I'll get a better one. You just different. You you detach from the natural sometimes. Somebody told me one time. Said you go hang around them tongues people. You gonna get a devil. I said I done hung around them. I done got tongues. I had devils before I ever met those people. But when God filled me up with the Holy Ghost, them devils left me, and God gave me a desire, a thirst for the red print in the Bible. I couldn't put it down. I said, I had devils. I know what devils are like, but it ain't no devil I got in me now. I got the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. I got a thirst for Jesus. Woo! Religious spirits. First time I went in a Pentecostal church, this woman fell over the piano stool. She was playing a piano. She cut a flip over that thing, fell down in all the sound equipment and everything. Pam Harkins. I looked, I said, surely that woman's dead. <laughs> in a little while she got up, glory to God, and began to dance and shout. <laughs> Didn't even bother. I knew it was real. Look at somebody say, it's real. It's real, it's real. Woo, that Holy Ghost and power, it's real. Mm. You say, what you yelling about tonight? I'm yelling because I'm blessed. Don't you go down, you know, you know, you need to try and talk to me and tell me I'm not blessed. I'm blessed in him. Gravity may lose its pull on me tonight. This might be the night that I go... Sometimes I have practice sessions. They do in the Olympics. <laughs> I can't get real high, but one day I'm going to take off, baby. It's going to be faster than Cape Kennedy. <laughs> Glory to God. Look at somebody say, I'm happy in the Lord. You know, there are two kingdoms, John 8. Oh, and I didn't read 14 yet. 14, 16, 17. Hallelujah. This is what the Lord left. He said, even the spirit of truth. See, we got the spirit of truth here. We got the word of truth. How many of you know they, they're inseparable? They can't work against each other. They agree. The Spirit and the Word agree. Look at this. Even the Spirit of truth. So we got the Word of truth working in us, right? <laughs> and we got the Spirit of truth sin. You don't understand that, but I'm going to show you what it means. I'm going to reveal that to your spirit. It's going to become a part of you. you, you, you this is going to be connected to you. This is going to be abiding in you. This is what this means and this is what this is going to do for you. It's going to change you from glory to glory. It's going to cause people to come to Christ. It's going to give you revelation to be healed. It's going to give you revelation to be blessed in material things that you need.
the spirit of truth will illuminate the word of truth. And it will change you into the image of Jesus. When you used to worry and when you used to fret and when you used to be so anxious, it's going to bring peace in your life. The temptation, the stronghold that used to be in your life, it's going to pull it down. It's no longer going to have any power over you because you have become my disciple. You have surpassed just praying a prayer. You have put on the armor. You have continued in my word. And you have obeyed my word where it said, be filled with the Spirit. I notice when I get full of the Holy Spirit, I spit a lot. Do y'all? <laughs> Jesus got so full one time, he spit in the eye of a man. And the spit healed a man. Hallelujah. <laughs> Look at somebody and say, you just don't know me, I'm blessed. I'm blessed coming in and going out. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> when I need help, God's going to send me help. When I need deliverance, God's going to send me a deliverer. He'll send somebody to help me. Even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive, the world can't receive this. The natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them. He can't understand them. But I have a translator inside of me, an interpreter. You say, how many languages does he speak? He speaks all of them because he created all of them. He speaks my language, and I've learned to speak his language. Hallelujah. Even the spirit of truth in the world cannot receive because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him. They don't understand him, but you know him. For he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. Somebody say, Holy Spirit. I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. Hallelujah. So the one that was on the outside got on the inside. I'm going to show, I'm going to show you something that reads the last and in this, this is another. Let's read this, and and then we'll read. We'll read a couple other scriptures. Wrong, uh, John John eight forty two four four forty seven. Jesus saith unto them, If God were your father, you would love me. You would love me. Talking to the Pharisees, the religious people. For I proceed forth and came from God, neither came I of myself, but he sent me. He sent me. He said, who hath believed our report? The Father sent him. Hallelujah. And the Holy Spirit coming, came upon him. Why do, you, why, why, why do you not understand my speech, even because you cannot hear my word? You are of your father, the devil. I, 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 I used to belong to him. I used to belong to the devil. He was my father at one time. Why? Because I believed his lies. Hmm. I believed his lies. He said, you can have a good time doing this. <laughs> you can eat of any tree you want to eat of. I believed that. He said... He, he said, you are, the, you, you, you are of your father the devil and the lust of your father will you do. That's why you see so many messed up people out there now. They, 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 they yield into their lust and to their flesh and they believe the lie. They believe the lie. You are of your father the devil and the lust of your father you will do. He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in truth. Because there is no truth in him. Look at somebody said, there ain't no truth in that sucker. 
He's a liar. And he's a father of lies. And he'll come sometimes and he'll tell you, I'm going to kill you. And you say, in Jesus' name, you a liar. I'm not ready to leave yet. My father's not through with me. And I don't plan to die till he gets through with me. Well, I'm going to destroy you. You almost did, but Jesus called me, and I heard him call me, and I went to him. Ah! You got your best shot, but you ain't going to get it again. Woo! I got the truth. Some of us say, Holy Ghost. He pulled me out of the fire. I had one foot in hell and the other one on a banana peeling. And I heard a voice say, I got something better for you. Woo! I said, I need something better than this. And I responded. He was a murderer from the beginning, but not in truth, because there is no truth in him. There's no truth in him, in the devil. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own. For he is a liar and the father of it. People are believing that lie now. They hear, oh, the uh, Ophra says, there's many ways to God. She can't even run a channel. Ophra, if you happen to hear this, I love you. I really love you. you. You're a very talented person. You're very good at what you do. But you're telling people a lie because you say there are many ways to heaven. There's only one way, a way. His name is Jesus. He is the second person of the Godhead. He is the virgin-born son of God. And if you got the father, you got to have the son because you can't have the father without the son. Because the son died on the cross for you, Ophrah, and he died on the cross for me. He is the truth. He is the way. He is the life. And no person can come to the Father except through Jesus. Hallelujah. I don't care if you're the president, you're the politician, or who you are. You can say there are many ways to God but you are listening to a lie. You're listening to the father of lies. And the only way you'll ever make it to heaven and have a piece of heaven on this earth is to come to Jesus Christ for he is the only plan that God has to redeem mankind. Well, glory to God. And whosoever will, let him come. If you'll humble yourself, he'll save you. He'll reveal his, the truth to you. And the spirit of truth will come in your life. Hallelujah. I'm glad there's some Christian politicians. That word politics, poly is, a, you know, they give you a polygraph. Poly is a lie. Ticks are bloodsuckers. Put those two together, you got lying bloodsuckers. You better get abortion out of this land. You better get same-sex marriage out of this land. You better vote it out. No, we don't do with away with the homosexuals. We love them. We want to get them saved. We're not haters. We love them. But they've believed a lie. They believe the lie. And they're going to have to repent and come to Jesus because the Lord loves them and the church loves them. But you can legalize it and you can vote it in, but he ain't going to vote in in God's kingdom because it is an abomination. And you kill 50 million babies in this country since 1963, that is an abomination to God. You believe the lie. I don't care if you're a Supreme Court justice or who you are. You ain't no big shot. One of these days your knee will bow and your tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Hallelujah. Woo! <laughs> Somebody say amen. amen. I'll read this. Amen. 
Oh, Lord. Say, the truth is the truth. I tell you, I was, a, I was a vile sinner. God forgave me. He can forgive politicians. He can forgive presidents. He can forgive homosexuals. He can forgive lesbians. He can forgive people in witchcraft. But they got to come to Jesus and say, Lord, come into my heart and save me. And, the, and you get in the spirit of truth and the word of truth, and God will transform their lives. How many of y'all were sinners when you come to Jesus? Everybody better raise a hand here because I'm telling you, <laughs> if you ain't going to make it to heaven if you didn't realize that. But he saved us. You say, well, tell me about your sins. Ain't none of your business. It's already taken care of with God. Look at somebody say, my sins ain't none of your business. It ain't in my business to dabble in them anymore unless I want to give a testimony of how God set me free. Come on now. Woo! Look at John. John, let me read the verse. I got to hurry. Look at somebody say, the Lord will tell him when he gets through. <laughs> he said, when he speaks of the lie, he speaks of his own. But, but because I tell you the truth, you believe me not. That, that's why you got so many cults and so many churches and everything people that want to live like hell and claim to know god they want to find them a church they feel comfortable in or a cult they feel comfortable in where they can just do what they want not listen to the word they're not really saved you know what a saved person wants somebody that really got saved you know what they want they want to get as close to god as they can come on now there's a change because I tell you the truth, you believe not. Which of you convinces me of sin? I say the truth. They, you know, they can't convict Jesus of sin. He didn't have any. He became a sin offering for us. He that is of God, hear of God's word. Therefore, hear them not because you're not of God. Look at First Corinthians. Uh, Corinthians and we'll, then we'll go to Ephesians. And we'll read these two real hurry. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Somebody say, hurry, 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 hurry. I prayed for evil couldn't evil for a long time. Anybody not know who evil Knievel is? He was an evil Knievel. <laughs> he get on a motorcycle, boom, 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 boom. I can jump the Grand Canyon, man. He, <laughs> the rocket attached to it, he still didn't make it. I prayed for that guy. He was a devil, man. He had two planes, two jets, and he used to pull them upside each other. Where he said, "I own that jet over there too," you know. I mean, the guy, he's he, he's like do that. And he drank booze and everything. I prayed for that man. I prayed for some commentators on the television, some of those heathens. God loves sinners. He loves sinners. You see somebody just sinning, and you just pray for them. Lord, they ain't, Lord forgive me. I don't know what they're doing. They need the truth. You know evil Knievel got saved before he died? They had him on TBN. My God saved evil Knievel. Man, he just jump all this stuff. Mm-hmm. Look at somebody say, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Woo! <laughs> I feel good. I feel good. Cause I'm blessed. <laughs> I was a sinner. I want to read 1 Corinthians 2, 12, 16. I'm going to hurry. Now, we have received not the spirit of truth. Now, we have received. Everybody say, now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the, but the spirit which is of God. See, we in the world, we, we can enjoy things in the world. I go to Burger King. I say, hey, fix me one of them worldly burgers. Put me some mustard and mayonnaise and ketchup on it. Some of them worldly pickles created in a factory. Put them on there. I eat that thing. I'm in the world, but I'm not a part of it. Come on now. The spirit which is of God, that we might know the things that are freely, freely given to us of God. Some of you say, well, I don't want nothing. You know, I don't want to bother God. I, I want to ask him for this. I don't want to bother him. You know, I, I really need a car. I, I need a car. I don't care. I don't care. It may not. It don't have to be new. I need a car. I really don't want to bother God. He, you listen. He freely gives us spiritual things, and He freely gives us 
things that we need to live on this earth. God freely gives them to us. Somebody says, oh, God's mean. If he was, honey, you wouldn't even be ashes. Your ashes would be burnt and scorched. But God's good. He's good in Louisiana. He's good in Texas. He's good in South Carolina. Hallelujah. He's good in Alabama. He's good all over me because I'm blessed. News people try to convince you that you're not blessed. But they listen to this world a bunch of lies. I'm listening to what God said. God shall supply all my needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. He don't even make the golf ball go further when you hit it, buddy. You ever prayed when you're playing golf? Anybody ever pray when they're playing? I don't play golf. I don't know how to play golf. I ain't got no sense to play golf. I like to ride on the cart. <laughs> Any of y'all ever pray when you're fishing? What word did you stand on? Is when Jesus told Peter, said, cast out into the deep. he show you where to catch fish. I've tried to catch one with a piece of gold in his mouth. I ain't found one yet. But if I needed one, if I needed one with a piece of gold in his mouth, <laughs> come on now. Say, look out. <laughs> it going to be there. Woo! <laughs> he freely gives it to us. Look at this. We got to hurry. Which things also we speak not in words which man wisdom teach, but which the Holy Ghost teach it. Comparing spiritual things with spiritual things. Now, we've talked about this, but what are you talking about? Comparing spiritual things with spiritual things. Comparing the spiritual, the spirit of truth and the spirit, the word of truth. You understand? The spirit of truth and the word of truth. They never contradict each other. You know when you heard from God when it lines up with the word. But the natural man will say, not things spirit, but they foolish on him, neither can know them because they are spiritual. He that is spiritual. How do you get spiritual? You continue in the word. You continue in being filled with the spirit of truth. You continue in the word of truth. It becomes a part of your life. You become connected. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, you shall ask what you will and it shall be done unto you. That's a powerful promise. But it is a truth. Hallelujah. When I get in trouble and, I, and the devil tells me, you need to doubt a little bit because you, you need to doubt. You ain't seeing nothing. The devil says, you need to doubt a little bit. I said, devil, you need to lie a little bit more. You're a liar. The word of God said, if thou canst believe, all things are possible to them that believe. I got that inside of me. It's a part of me, hallelujah. And I don't care how big the mountain looks. I say if I can believe, all things are possible. And I believe, hallelujah. But he that is spiritual judge, if all that, I judge him according to the word of God and the spirit of truth, the spirit of the, the word of truth. He himself is judged no man. When I'm walking in the word of God, and the will of God, can't nobody judge me. Look at somebody and say, can't nobody judge me when I'm walking in the will of God. I'm walking in the spirit of truth and the word of truth. And God told me to go down here, and I'm doing this down here. And somebody say, hey, crazy, what you going down there for? God told me to go down there. Nobody can judge you. I've judged, judged by the word of truth and the spirit of truth. They agree. Let me get this. For who have the mind of the Lord? Look at somebody say, I got the mind of the Lord. I know the truth, and the truth has made me free. I got a renewed mind. I got all the armor on that he, 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 he Lord, that he may instruct him. But we have the mind of Christ. I want to read you one of the scriptures we go. I won't go all the way through it. Look at somebody say, well, he know, he don't have, he not going all the way through it. He may get stopped going on tonight. He don't know. He don't know where he gets stopped or not. Because I feel kind of drunk. 
Look at somebody say says, it's on me too. I, I feel a little, woo, -hoo, woo, woo. I feel a little drunk here tonight. Oh, it's a good feeling. When you get drunk, you ain't mean. You ain't one of them mean drunks. If you're drunk on lies, you mean. You mean you shoot people. You cuss people. You kick people. You spit on people. You do all kind of stuff. But when you're drunk on the spirit of truth and the word of truth, you just cry on people and love on them. <laughs> a man is coming. He said, I, I just robbed a bank. I said, come on in. I'll show you a better way. I had him come in and say, man, I just shot up on drugs. I said, I can get you off of that high and get you on a good high. Amen. Praise God that you don't act stupid with this high. Because you can't embarrass a drunk. They do anything. Let me read this. In whom, verse 13, in whom you also trusted after that you heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation. Look at something, I'm blessed, hallelujah. In whom also after that you believed you were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. What is the sealing of the Holy Spirit? That's when he comes. You're baptized into the spiritual body of Christ by the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the seal. Now see, you got him. The only way that he will leave is if you choose for him to leave and you choose to live in darkness and you choose to go back in the world and you choose to live by lies, at one point, I don't know when, he will depart. He didn't leave you, you left him. He was no longer welcome there. When the Holy Spirit comes, he seals you because the Holy Spirit is the seal. Are you with me? Look at some of us, I ain't dumb enough to leave him. <laughs> I don't know where I am. I found me a home. <laughs> I found me a home. I'm staying here. I'm, I'm blessed. I ain't going nowhere. I'm in the kingdom. No, I ain't leaving. No man can pluck me out of God's hand. I can only take myself out. I ain't that dumb. This is good preaching. Cease not to give thanks for you, making mention of you in my prayers. Look at this. That the God of our Lord Jesus, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit. Oh, here it is now. The Holy Spirit is another word. Another name for it. The spirit of wisdom. I don't like it goofy like I used to. I used to act goofy. Some of y'all used to act goofy too. Because you'd go in a bar on Saturday night. Sunday morning you had a black eye. You go out and look at your car, see if you hit somebody on the way home, and then the next week you go do the same dumb thing again. I'm hurt. Let me see. Got hurt. That the eyes of your understanding being enlightened, you may know what is the hope of his calling and the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints, and what is the exceeding greatness of his power to usward. This power flowing who believe according to the working of his mighty power, which he wrought in Christ when he raised him from the dead and set him at his own right hand in the heavenly places, far above all principalities and powers and mights and dominion and every name that is named, not only in this world, but also that which is to come. I got a name that is above every name on this earth. I've got a name that is above mental illness. I've got a name that is above AIDS. I've got a name that is above bondage I've got a name his name is Jesus hallelujah and have put all things under him feet and gave him to be head over all things to the church which is the body the fullness of him that filleth all in all we're the fullness of Christ the body hallelujah the body thank you Jesus let's come up and pray I want to pray to everybody in here get touched by the Holy Spirit tonight Hallelujah. Woo. Yes, hallelujah. Bless you. We bless you. We bless you. If you don't know Jesus, say, Jesus, I believe you're the son of God. Come into my heart and save me, and he'll do it. If you just began, if you're a Christian, a new Christian, get in the word. Pray and praise and worship and get full of the spirit of truth, the Holy Spirit.
He'll fill you. He'll empower you. You will begin to understand the things of God. And God will make you free. Hallelujah. Free from the power of the enemy. Free from legalism. I love the word of God. It's a powerful book. God tells me what to do, gives me the energy to do it. <laughs> gives me the power to do it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Bless you. We love you. We appreciate you. We know you're part of this ministry. God bless you. Hallelujah. Ronnie, would you put on a CD? I want to pray for you. I want to pray for you. I want to, I want to, pray. I want to pray for everybody tonight. I want to lay hands on you and pray for you. I feel, I feel this is, there's powerful anointing in here tonight. <laughs> here's your, here's your, we'll go in a minute. Just come on up here. This is good. This is good. Look at somebody and say, hey, I'm blessed. <laughs>